Hello, my name is Jeanette Ashby and I'm the Clinical Applications Manager at United Medical Instruments. Today I would like to review some of the features of the SAOTE MyLab Alpha ultrasound machine. One feature unique to SAOTE is that it offers two transducer ports on its portable units. To attach a transducer, you simply slide it into the port and pull up on the locking tab. The MyLab Alpha control panel consists of three areas. The touchscreen component, the general controls, and the control section. The general control section is where you will be able to turn on and turn off your system using the power button, access the menu to make more customized configurations, as well as adjust the near and far field gain using the TGC toggles. This is a touchscreen section of the console of the MyLab Alpha. It is separated into three separate areas. The navigation area, the image parameter area, as well as the image management area. Use the navigation tabs to select the desired controls and features for that modality. On the right side of the touchscreen layout is your exam management section. This is where you can change your probe, select your preset, start an exam. In the imaging parameters area, you will see all the controls and functions to perform an exam. To adjust more features, go into the advanced menu, use the toggles for the soft menus. To return to the basic menu, press the orange basic button. The buttons within the imaging parameters area have different colors to indicate their status. Gray means it's disabled, dark blue means it's active, and the light blue button means that you can select it. The touchscreens button with a frame around them have submenus. Press the button to display the submenu, then just tap the setting to modify it on the screen. On the bottom of the touchscreen there are six toggles which can act on the functions displayed just above. Each lever can control two functions which depends on the active modality. The lever acts on the active control displayed in the upper position. To switch to the other displayed function, press the corresponding button on the touch screen. The lever will now act on the other control. There's a dedicated button displayed on the top right corner of the touch screen layout that activates and deactivates the alphanumeric keyboard. On the left side of the control section are your Doppler controls. This is your overall game dial for your color flow mapping, pulse wave, and continuous wave. Within this dial is a gray button that is your auto optimize button for pulse wave. On the right side of the screen are your M mode and B mode controls. Again, this is an overall gain dial control for both M mode and B mode. It also has its own auto optimize button. The toggles control and help you modify the settings in the soft menus located just above them. There's also a shortcut key that you can use to adjust these parameters. This is the E knob. Within the E knob is a gray dialed button with a circular arrow. This arrow tells you which of the toggles for the soft menus can be controlled with a shortcut key. Here on frequency, there's a gray circle. On the right upper corner of depth is an orange circle. These are the two menus that the E knob controls. If you press the gray button in the E knob, the orange will jump from depth to frequency. Then you simply turn the dial to adjust your frequency from high, mid, or low. You can bounce back to the depth by pressing this button again. And if you'd like to adjust the zoom amount, you just tap zoom and then turn the dial. MyLab allows the user to record a sequence of keystrokes both on the touch screen and the user section. Each recorded sequence can then be named and saved to a preset, which would be available as a customized button on the touch screen.